We got three on the course right now. was developed because the men that, and women that wanted to go as fast as they could needed a place to do it and Battle Mountain is the place to do it. We have people that are rocket scientists, we have people that are artists, we have people that are professional engineers, we have people that from every walk of life that they all want to go fast is their common denominator. A lot of them are engineering students, a lot of them have to work as a team together, so there's a lot of divergent ideas that they have to make a lot of compromises to get what it is that they want to race down the road. And so they have some innovations that we haven't always seen. I'd have to say that the biggest thing that people don't get is they think it's just a bike. But we spent hours and hours engineering this thing. And while it looks simple, that's the whole concept. We want it to keep it simple, we want to keep it so it's running really well. We don't want problems to arise and unnecessary systems that we put in the vehicle. But it's very tight tolerances and there's a lot of engineering that goes into it. So what we're doing right now is we're building up the front wheel. Um, the hub here is being put into the rim with the spokes. Uh, we're creating a custom wheel, so this will act as the front and uh, main part of the drive system for the vehicle. It also allows me to fit this essentially in between my legs. Um, it's the maximum size that we can get in there and uh, still have motion to pedal around the bike. All right, so the problem we're having right now is we had a bit of an accident the other night. Uh, we're driving and we're doing our testing, but of course we've only got a really short run up and the bike only handles well at really high speeds. Anyway, we had a small accident the other night. Uh, got a little skin up. We're working with very tight tolerances so we're gonna make changes and get this thing rolling again. The start is approximately five miles from the speed trap, which is a 200 meter trap with a timing tape at either end. Vehicles accelerate to the 200 meter point and then they all out sprint as fast as they can. Then once they're across the last timing tape, they immediately start to break because they have a one mile run out before we have to catch them. It's been a struggle the whole way through just to stay on top of the ball and stay ahead of the game to make sure the bike was done on time and ran smoothly while we were out here. But um, I'm out here just to, to push it and see what our limits are because we've always wanted to know and, and this right here, right now, this is where we find out. We got three on the course right now. question of ourselves, how fast can you go in one of these vehicles? So we came out this week and we saw what we can do. And so far we've hit 59 and some change and you know that will set the bar for the people that are to come and I hope it's an inspiring story for those people out there currently on the Human Powered Vehicle Team to come out and break this record and just to show what Missouri's University of Science and Technology has to offer and you know the caliber of students that we are. <laughs>